Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here on a mountain high above Auckland, New Zealand. And if you come to New Zealand, one of the things you really have to understand is the Maori, the Maori people. And I'm here with a gentleman who knows all about the Maoris. He is a Maori. He, 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 he descendants of uh, a tribe that's been here for hundreds and hundreds of years. We're going to talk about why we're here and give us a little understanding about the Maori people here on Insider Travel Report. Who I'm with now is Dane Tumahai, right? Kia ora. Kia ora, Kia ora James. Wonderful. And, and he's just actually in the middle of giving us a wonderful tour of this sacred mountain, which in English is Mount Eden, but that's not the name, right? What's the mountain name? Uh, the Māori name for this mountain is Maunga Fau. Maunga means mountain. Fau relates to the native tree that grew in abundance here, the Fau tree. Yeah. Right, and, and it, so, so this is actually a sacred mountain, right? Absolutely, yeah. It's tapu, uh, which means sacred. But as I say, it's a it's a place where we want people to come and share our knowledge, right, and our stories of uh, how we connect. Uh, through the natural environment. Really. Yeah, and, and you tell us all about how you use plants for medicinal reasons and other things. And as you go, this this whole mountain is kind of pockmarked by, you know, little gullies and, and places because this was a settlement, right? Absolutely. And back in time, we would have over 2,000 families living on here, right? Uh, knowing how to use the seasons to grow our food source, right? Um, and also, yeah, just being aware of uh, how we needed to uh, uh, be mindful of how we protect this place, um, and you had to protect it a few times, right? Absolutely, yeah, from other tribes that are coming here. As I said, the place, Auckland, name, Māori name, Tamaki Makoto, meaning the place desired by many, where food is in abundance is why uh, lots of other tribes back in time were really um, making an effort to try and get, it, get on this spot. And it was. It's a beautiful spot. It's an amazing spot. And it's where whole communities existed. And now you can visit it here and get a great, great guide. Uh, you don't call yourself a guide. You call yourself what? Uh, a cultural edutainer. <laughs> there James. you go. A cultural edutainer. And it really, he, you did deliver amazing stories about this place, including as we're looking back in, into Auckland, we just heard the story of how the chief of, of one of the Maori tribes, your tribe, I believe, actually gifted Auckland to the British, right? Exactly right. And to the people of Auckland. Yep, so that's back in 1840 with the uh, Governor Hobson who came down from Waitangi after getting the, the treaty signed um, to establish what we see today. No, and so what what do you try to do in in your in your kind of uh, uh, as you said guide education uh, for people about the Maori people because you know we know we think we know a lot about the Maoris but it's such a fascinating tri tribe and and it, a fascinating people who came here even they they were they came before the British many how, when did they first get here oh and our stories from our creations. 1200 AD okay. is when we came down from Hawaii. Um, so yeah, we've been sort of uh, traversing these lands uh, since that time. And then, so it really is an amazing story. And we we, we see we see a little bit in the, the All Blacks, which is the rugby team. You get you get the they're dan they're doing their their kind of yeah, haka. haka. It's like a war dance, right? Exactly right. That's exactly what it is. So that's what we see there. But they're very much integrated into the community here. And when you come up here, you understand. In addition to getting incredible views of Auckland. This is really the place to see Auckland. Now, uh, where can people go to find out more about, you know, how to, to meet you and to get hear the stories of the Maori people? Yeah, and so thank you for that. As I say, I'm very privileged and honored to be brought up amongst the uh, servant leadership of my elders to be able to share these stories. And, um, yeah, we can, uh, through, through Tataki, you know, we've built these relationships uh, around wanting to share our stories and, and, and our history. And I believe you said your, is it your grandfather who was 93? It's, it's actually my father. Your, fa your father is 93 and he's now the oldest member of your, your Maori tribe, right? Yep. He's you know, our oldest living descendant and people affectionately refer to him. He's such an humble man uh, as Uncle Danny. Uncle <laughs> Danny. So, and he, he, he must have a few stories too. Right? Oh, absolutely. And these are the ones that I love. To hear from him and share with people as i say i'm i'm sharing these in a way that um hopefully resonates with people's heart and they feel a connection and feel they arrive here as visitors and they leave here as part of our whanau our family 
Amazing. Well, we're here with a group of travel advisors, and uh, you too someday can come down here with Down Under Answers, and uh, we're learning all about these wonderful places and including this Maori culture that is absolutely amazing. I think we have a few more stops to learn more about the Maoris, but what do you hope to tell? Our, we go out to about 100,000 travel advisors in the States. What do you want to tell them about the Maori culture and how important it is to get a better understanding of New Zealand? Yeah, well, it's the indigenous people here. I think we are, we're, we're very welcoming, we're inclusive, um, but as people we're very resilient. We've, we've come through some really um, uh, controversial history, the, our, 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 our treaty document and so on, but at the same time, you know, what I'm sharing with people is what I've seen from survivalism to thrivalism, yeah. right? is, is that yes, we have this history and this past, but we're not rooted in the past anymore. We are advancing, we're progressive, and um, you know, our world is looking bright. We have a saying which goes, um, Modi noho, Modi mate, Modi tu, Modi order. And essentially, Modi, mat, uh, Modi noho is if you sit down and you do nothing, ultimately that you, you know that will lead to your demise, Modi mate. But Modi tu is to stand and be proactive and, and, and take action. And from that, it leads to Modi order where people are thriving. And I believe as Māori people, we are certainly moving in that direction. Absolutely you are. And it's been great to meet you and great to see this Māori culture and great to be up on this mountain, which is just amazing. And again, thank you so much for, for telling us about this, to tell us the stories and really of the Māori people, which really is something that your clients should come down and experience because there really is nothing like it. Thank you again. You're welcome. And we'll seal this with a hongi where we press noses. It's meaning the, the signing of the breath there of life. Go. There we go. I've, I, I've never pressed noses like that. So that, that's, that's news to me. So <laughs> thank you so much. And now we, we got to climb off the mountain. So we'll have to see. Kia ora. Look forward to seeing you in New Zealand. Don't soon. And I'm James Schillinglaw. And this is Insider Travel Report.